We're going to go over to the live eye. Greg Harper standing by. Very special day for News 1130. That's right, Riaz. News 1130, 15 years old today in the uh, news control with Diane Newman, Rian Ford. We're going to do something that I've never done before. I don't think too many people have done this. We're live on television. We're about to be live on the radio, too. I believe they're about to go live on the air here. So I'm not going to ask them a question yet. Diane Newman, she eats a banana. She also drinks a lot of coffee in the morning. She's not wearing a birthday hat. Rian was, and he is now, and I am too. We're going to have some cake later on here this morning. I'm going to be live on the radio in just a second here. I can hear. Three degrees go. with some scattered showers in Vancouver. Good morning, I'm Diane Newman. And I'm Rian Ford, and the 15th anniversary of News 1130 is our top story. Yeah, 15 years ago, no one was sure what to do with an all-news radio station. Today, News 1130, indispensable. Greg Harper from City TV's Live Eye in our studio this morning for the first ever News 1130 simulcast. Yes, indeed, live on television and radio at the same time. You having a good time, Greg? I'm having an excellent time. A very nice newsroom, lots of nice people here. This is rather bizarre to be talking to you live on the radio, hear you two all the time, and looking at you at the same time. I'm expecting something somewhere, a wormhole, something Star Trek-like is going to happen. It, it, it's just bizarre. How about give our, our, our TV viewers a sense, and the, the listeners right now on the radio, give us them a sense of what your job entails. Diane, we'll start with you. Okay, well, uh, we all get in here before 4 o'clock in the morning, and uh, we all have our, our responsibilities about how we're going to put our newscast together. Uh, Rian takes care care of the top to the bottom hour. I go from the bottom to the top. We both operate. A lot of people who work in this industry, they have someone who does our operating for them. We have to handle all the buttons, all, make sure everybody gets on the air. Rian, how many hits do you two do throughout the morning? Oh boy, we're on pretty much constantly. We're sort of quarterbacking the whole thing, you know? So we've got our business guy, we've got sports, we've got traffic, we've got weather. We're sort of the nerve center, uh, and you know, we're, we're the ones throwing between all the different people and, and sort of bringing it all together, making it happen, and, and, and producing it in a way that it actually sounds good. When you and, hear a screw uh, up, it's, it's usually us. Yeah, usually. <laughs> and we were talking about how many times we've done weather and sports and, and how many traffic reports have been done. I think I've probably done about a billion time checks in the time that I've been on the air here in the last 15 years. And uh, speaking of sports, we yes. do have, we, we're, we're going we're gonna to let you join in the fun here this morning, Greg. I get to do a throw. Right now. Saying. Here we go. Take it away, sir. All right, now News 1130 Sports brought to you by Brian Jessel BMW. He started here 15 years ago, then he went off and did some of his own things. He's back. Rick Dollywall from Sportsnet Radio. Oh, Rick, tell me how much time I got now. I'm sorry, You're probably not a lot. You got about 15 seconds, Rick, go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I got about 20 seconds. Uh, the Canucks had another injury to a you never take away time from the sports guy. And boy, I thought we had it bad getting up the time we do, but getting into work before four, wow, those guys really working hard over at News 1130. News 1130, uh, 15 years old today. We've been waiting for this. They've been waiting for this. Oh yes, we have ourselves a massive cake. Andy Walsh is gonna slice it. That's coming up, some pin the tail on the donkey too. Plus we're gonna talk to the, uh, we're okay. We're gonna talk to the morning show uh, producer and just learn about his job. It's pretty interesting. That's coming up. You're watching BT, stay with us. That's it. That's it, Trina. That's it. There we go. All right. Greg Harper is standing by in the live fire. Maybe they can use the best of ABBA down at the News 1130 celebration, Greg. We do. We have ourselves a bit of a birthday party. Happy birthday, everybody. There we go, yeah. News 1130, 15 years old today. We've been going behind the scenes all morning long inside of the newsroom. We have ourselves a massive cake. I think it's appropriate that Andy Walsh, who is the uh, anchor on the weekend, it was 11.30 from five in the morning till 11. He's been doing this for 60 years. I think it's appropriate that he makes the first slice and uh, That makes it fun being say. here, I'll tell you. Yeah, anything this, you'd like to say? This is what it's all about. I, I want to just say that how wonderful it is to work with the people at News 11.30, a great bunch of young people who make it all worthwhile, and that's why I'm here. And I'm gonna do the cake cutting right now. Don't cut yourself, It's Andy. not easy being green. No, there he goes, cutting the piece. As he's doing that, I'm gonna walk over to Mike Lloyd over here, who has his glasses on and blindfolds at the same time. That's interesting. You call yourself an offbeat reporter. I do. What's an offbeat reporter? Well, you know all the super serious analysis of the uh, stories you while you answer this, and by the, the way. issues of the day? Yeah. I, I don't do that. Okay. It's all, the, I do the little more human interest, uh, weird, wacky stuff. Yeah, okay, and this is dizzy. wacky right now, and yeah. this is offbeat right now. <laughs> all right. Let's see how you do. Pin the tail on the donkey, Trina okay. in the lead. This dizzy. is straight, so just walk straight. 
There you Thank go. You. Oh. you are not going to win this, oh. Mike Lloyd. Okay. But the birthday hat looks good on you. Thanks. Thanks, Mike. Dean Rex Siegler, we got about half a minute here. You produce the morning show yes. every morning. How do you do it? You have to juggle a lot of things. Yes, uh, they, they say men aren't very good at multitasking, but apparently I, I either can do it or it's, it's very strange. That's all it is. How does it work here? Uh, just putting all things together. Um, these are all their stories. They all go down. They all have their little spots. They have their headlines. And Where are our headlines? Oh, they see they're looking for their headlines in the 8:30 newscast. Oh, there in the 8:30, see they're they're there. You see, and they're they're trying to throw me off by telling me their headlines are missing when they actually were there because you know, like I forget things. Yeah. So okay, we've determined you're a good multitasker. We have a number of birthday balloons in the oh. newsroom here, Don. Coming up, Dean is going to see, and then some of the hosts back mm -hmm. at the station, we're going to see who can hold three balloons up the longest. We're inspired by Minute to Win It, which is seen on City TV. Of course. Time. Well, we'll you know, see how he can do. He's saying he can multitask, so we'll see how well he can multitask, right? We're Juggling all those find balloons. Out. All right, thank you very much, uh, Greg, and happy anniversary or happy birthday to News 1130. What a, what a milestone. That's fabulous. Greg, do we have some competitors over at the, uh, the radio station? We have one, and he's confident. Dean Rex Seedler, he's the morning show producer here. So right now, there is no producer. Well, actually, John Ackerman, you're filling in, right? News 11:30 time, 8:45. <laughs> <8 45. laughs> <laughs> no, he's okay. Up. All right, you're confident. Dean's ready to go, Riaz. Dean's ready to go. Let's bring you back in studio. Our competitors here on BT. Let's go with Don Chubay, Thor Diakow. Diener's going down. And Michelle McDermott. You're going Ready? down. Clock on the screen, Trash ladies and talk. gentlemen. 30 seconds is what we are going to have. I'll be watching closely. You're not playing? The hosts have two. I gotta moderate. I gotta pay attention. I gotta pay closer. You gotta just keep them up in the air. I already said the object of the game. <laughs> Producer Catherine Peterson, stay with us. <laughs> just tuned in. Catherine okay. Peterson did. 30 seconds on the clock. Let's go. All right. This takes complete concentration. Yes. I got this. Yes. Oh. The bag, baby. Yes. yes. Okay. Don's struggling. Don is struggling. She pulls it together. Get away from my balloons. Everybody. It's oh, almost out. Oh, Don is out. Don is out. Don is out. Oh, Thor and Michelle. In my area. Okay. okay. Well, Stay out of Michelle's that. area. Yes. Thor is still in this. Yes. Is Dean at News 1130? I got this. There are seven oh, seconds oh, left on the clock. Seven. Oh. We have a winner. Oh, nice. Congratulations. Never doubted you. Thank you. Never doubted you. Dean, very good battle over there, News 1130. Greg, shake his hand. He deserves it. Good That's job, good Dean. Strategy. I, I want to see how high your ceiling is in there. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. That's I told you I'd take you. <laughs> oh, Dean, good sport over there. Happy birthday to News 1130. Thank you. Yay. Competitors. Thank you very much. Uh, City look, before we go to break, they're going to keep playing with the balloons. All kinds of prizing. Mike Myers, he's got the close up. Easy kids, right after the break.